Welcome, everyone. I'm Annalisa. Thank you so much for joining me today for yoga. Um, so find yourself a comfortable position to sit in. And um, as we have been doing, I have been introducing one of um, the yamas lately in each class. I think in the past we've covered ahimsa, which is um, nonviolence and satya or truthfulness. And so today is asteya or um, yeah, non-stealing, there we go. And so I wanted to share from Embrace Yoga's Roots by Susanna Barkataki. It's a new book, it's really great. It um, helps us to learn how learning about yoga's roots, where it came from, all about it, so that we can appreciate it rather than appropriate it. So I wanted to share uh, what she says about Asteya. So she says, Asteya is practicing with the awareness that I have everything I need right here inside of myself. I embody non-stealing, embracing what belongs to others and celebrating what we have. A sense of abundance gives rise to confidence that I have what I need. I cultivate a deep satisfaction with life. So in the interest of non-stealing, and again, let me just say, embrace yoga's roots, Susanna Barkataki, um, I wanted to first acknowledge that this class is coming to you today from Jacksonville, Florida, uh, which is the land of the Tumakua and the Seminole. So I wanted to give a land acknowledgement there. And then I wanted to kind of give a little spiritual lineage acknowledgement and acknowledging all the yogis from India, from ancient times to now that have been practicing, teaching, passing on, sharing this practice that we will be doing today. And then I personally wanted to acknowledge and thank some of my past teachers, Jim Hudson, um, David Parnell and the Kripalu tradition, and Bree Johnson and all of my other teachers uh, that maybe I haven't even met yet. And so it is helpful to stay uh, in a spirit of gratitude and acknowledging what we have, how we got it, thinking about where, where did our food come from? Um, where did our clothes come from? Those can be important things to think about and thinking about where yoga came from. So um, non-stealing, asteya. So um, hopefully you found yourself in a comfortable position. I am sitting on a folded up blanket uh, that's propping up the back of my hips, the back of my seat, giving me a little bit more height and feel, uh, get as comfortable as you like. If you wanna have a couple pillows, if you wanna sit in a chair, if you wanna be lying down, feel free. And we'll get started by closing our eyes or taking a downward gaze so that we can start to tune in to ourselves. Notice how we're feeling today. Letting that idea, the concept of asteya or non-stealing just kind of resonate with you. Maybe just let it sit on the back burner. And let it percolate through your practice and through the rest of your day. And starting to take a little inventory of how your body is feeling, breath, body, and spirit. And begin to invite a deeper, fuller breath. Breathing a big, full breath in and a big, full breath out. Starting to feel some expansion and contraction through the ribs the thoracic spine, the belly.
and maybe one more big full breath in. And a big full breath out, exhaling everything out. And then inhale and just return to a normal breathing pattern. Noticing how you're feeling. And then beginning to invite some softness and relaxation into your muscles. And perhaps through the muscles in the face and jaw. Through the neck and shoulders. Through the belly. And then use your senses to notice the sounds that are around you, both nearby and far away. Your eyes might be closed or maybe they've got the downward gaze, but notice the, any play of light or shadow or anything that you might be seeing. Noticing any sense of uh, smell or taste, any sense or taste that might be present for you. And notice the feel of the clothes on your skin, maybe the air as it moves around on your clothes and skin. Reaching out with your senses, noticing what you sense. And taking your awareness now into your mind and just acknowledging any of the thoughts, feelings, or emotions that might be present there. And taking all of these things into account, can you become aware of the present moment? Letting the moment be just as it is. Letting yourself be just as you are in this present moment. Letting yourself be enough, just as you are. And bring one hand now to the center of your chest, your heart space. And just give yourself a gentle little rub over this heart area. Bring a little warmth a little love, just some acknowledgement of yourself for being here. And let's take one big full breath as a community in. And a big full breath out. And then let your eyes open or raise your gaze. And if you've been lying down, come join us in a seated position, in an upright position. And let's bring your arms down by your sides and inhale, bring the arms up overhead. And then exhale, bring the arms down. And now this time bring the arms in front of you and inhale, raise the arms up overhead, up in front, and then exhale, bring the arms down. Noticing which maybe felt better. 
and you can choose to do that or you can follow me we'll go out to the side again inhale arms up and exhale arms down maybe bringing the arms forward again inhale arms up and exhale bringing the arms down once more inhale arms up and exhale arms down <laughs> and once more actually inhale arms up and exhale arms down lower your arms bring your hands to your thighs give a little shoulder roll feeling the shoulder blades move around the back and then bring yourself to stillness let your fingertips come down to either side and inhale and lean over to the left and come to center inhale and exhale lean over to the right come up to center and move from side to side breathing remembering as we move through class today to always be true to yourself listening to what your body needs changing up the movements changing up the breathing pattern to fit what works for you if you need to take a break that's cool let's do one more time either side and when you've done both sides come back to center and take a pause notice how you feel and then let's take our fingertips to the tops of the shoulders and then Turn your torso towards the right, twisting. Take a breath here and then come back to center and then twist and turn towards the left. Breathe, come back to center. Now cross your arms over your chest, excuse me, and then twist towards the right. Take a breath, feel the expansion, and exhale, come back to center. And then turn, let's see, change which arm is on top, and then twist, turn towards the left. Take a deep breath in, and exhale, come back to center. Let's do this one more time. Bring the hands down to the thighs and then take your, we're going to turn to the right, take your left hand to the right knee, twist and turn to the right. Take a couple breaths here. And on your next exhale, come back to center unwind and then take the right hand to the left knee twist turn to the left and take a few breaths here and on your next exhale come back to center Let's do another shoulder roll here. Move the shoulder roll to the back. Breathing. And then move the shoulder roll towards the front. If you've been doing this uh, both shoulders together, try alternating. And then alternating going the other way. And then give a little shake and then come back to center. Bring your arms out to shoulder height and your then bend your elbows, your fingertips reach up to the ceiling. And then turn 
your arms so that your fingertips point are pointing closer towards the floor. Keeping the elbows at shoulder height if you can, keeping the shoulders down, and then move the fingertips up and down. Moving slowly, feeling the movement, feeling the boundary where you're like, okay, I can't go any further than this and that's okay. Moving at your own pace. And the next time the fingertips are up, take a pause and then turn one fingertip down, but keep the other set of fingertips pointing up. And then switch. You can close your eyes if you like. Notice, kind of go inside. What are you feeling? You can keep your eyes open if you like. And then bring, let's see, bring both arms to shoulder height and extend the arms out. Actually, let's just take a break here and bring arms down, give the shoulders a little bit of a shake. Knowing at any time you can always shake out whatever we're doing. And then when you're ready, bring the arms out to shoulder height again. Bring the, the palms are pointed down first, reach the, the tips of the fingers away and then tip the palms up towards the ceiling and your elbow pits as well. So it's as if you're twisting everything up towards the ceiling, your biceps, your elbow pits, the smooth inside part of your forearm, the palms, and then turn it down and then maybe even back. So now it seems like the, the fronts of my hands are facing you all and even turning a little bit more. So it's twisting everything in this time and then twist everything out, externally rotating elbow pits, palms, biceps up towards the ceiling, and then turning everything down as if you were twisting, turning a doorknob. And then come back to neutral, bring arms down, give a little shake, and then bring the arms to shoulder height again when you're ready, and turn your left palm up and the right palm down. And then, switch and the palm that turns down it can continue turning the thumb can keep going down towards the floor a little bit more so it's as if you're ringing through your arms and shoulders so go ahead and switch sides alternating sides feeling this move going all the way into the shoulders so it might be easier to feel with the notice at the hands but make sure that movement goes all the way into the shoulders One more big full breath as you do these movements. And then bring the arms down, and give them a shake. Let your hands rest on your thighs for a moment. We can give the shoulders a, a roll if that might feel good. And then bring your, as you noticed, I started moving my neck around. So let's give our neck a little release. So bring your chin down towards your chest, lengthening through the back of the neck. And breathe here. And then, if it might feel good, start to slowly, making it small at first, start to take a little, a little roll as if you're taking one ear towards the same side shoulder. Feeling a little bit more movement in the back of the neck and the sides. We're moving however feels right for you. So if there's something that calls to you, go ahead and give that a try. We've all got different bodies, different needs, different stresses. So take care of yourself. Use my suggestions as a jumping off point. And bringing your chin back to center and then slowly bringing your chin back to center. 
and then turn your head slowly from side to side. Looking from left to right and right to left. Not rushing. And breathing. And then bringing your head back to center. And if you've got anything underneath you, move it out of the way. And let's come down to our backs on the floor. Slowly coming all the way down onto your back. And when you do, straighten your arms, straighten your legs, bring your arms up overhead and reach your fingertips to the wall behind you or to whatever's behind you and the soles of the feet to whatever's in front of you and wriggle and stretch and find some length here. Moving a little bit from side to side, if you like stretching, reaching, maybe imagining that there's someone on either end just gently giving a little bit of a pull, nothing torturous, just giving a gentle pull as if you were a living piece of taffy, as long as it feels good. <laughs> and then let that go. Bring your arms back down by your sides. Bend your knees, bring the soles of the feet down to the floor or on the floor, and then lift the soles of the feet up, bring your feet up towards the ceiling. And then lift your arms up, reach your fingertips towards the ceiling. And while you're up here, start to make some ankle and wrist circles. Moving the feet, moving the hands from the ankles, from the wrists. Getting some movement, some warming up into those joints. Go both directions. Breathing. Letting your shoulders sort of sink down to rest onto the mat, feeling them be supported by the floor. And then start to bend your knees, bend your elbows, and imagine as if you're making kind of a bicycling movement with your legs and let your arms follow. So right now I'm moving the same side leg and arm together. Noticing how that feels, giving that, then reversing the movement. Imagining it's almost feels like my hands and feet are connected, so we're moving together. Then, I don't know how this is going to work. What happens if you try to move? No, that, well, no, you can't. Try and see if you can move the opposite leg and opposite arm. You might have to take your arms out a little bit wider. Whoop. And it might be a little bit of a brain teaser. <laughs> Just playing around, getting some movement, going the other direction. Any way that you're moving that feels good is good. And so then bring your arms down by your sides, bring the soles of the feet back down to the floor. Just take a moment to notice how you're feeling. Start to move your feet a little bit wider than hip width apart, maybe a little bit wider than your mat. And then start to take one knee and leg down towards the, the middle of the mat, towards the midline of your body and up. So you're kind of starting to windshield wiper a little bit your legs from side to side. You can let the one hip come up off the floor starting to feel this through the hip. If you feel like making some movement with your upper body, if that feels like something that happens, feel free to do that. And now, Start to move your feet more back in towards center, more hip width apart. Bring your arms into a goal post position or cactus arms. So your upper arms are about shoulder height, your elbows are bent, and let your fingertips reach behind you. And then lift your feet off the floor, bring your knees in towards your chest a little bit, and then take your lower body, let it go over to one side, and then back to the center and then over to the other side, getting a little bit of a twist. 
It doesn't have to be, you don't have to push yourself all the way over to the floor, go from side to side. Getting this twisting rotational movement into the spine. And then coming back to center and then lifting your forehead in towards your knees and start to rock a little bit from side to side. And you can make this as big and wide as you like. You can, if, if it feels good, bring your knees together, curl yourself up into a tight ball. But so many times we force ourselves to be tiny. So if you feel like making a big, big movement here, make a bigger movement. Moving around a little bit, if that calls to you, make this your own roll. And then roll over onto your favorite side for just a moment, curl up over there. And this is probably the side that you would have rolled to if I said, okay, roll to a side and let's get onto our hands and knees. So I invite you, feel free, if this is the side that's really the most available to you, then go ahead and uh, come to your hands and knees on this side. But I invite you to try going the other direction and then come to your hands and knees. I don't know about you, but I sometimes notice that I always go the same direction. So sometimes it can be good to change things up. Now we're gonna come to our hands and knees and feel free to put a cushion, that blanket or pillow that maybe you were sitting on before or feel free to get one now if you need a little bit more cushioning for the knees or for the wrists. And now that we're on hands and knees and wrists are beneath the shoulders, knees are beneath the hips, let's move through cat and dog a few times. Inhaling, let the belly drop down the chin and tailbone lift. This is the dog or sometimes called cow position. And then round your spine up towards the ceiling like a Halloween cat, the cat position, tucking the chin, tucking the tailbone. And then inhale, belly drops down. Exhale, spine rounds towards the ceiling. Go ahead and move through cat, cow, cat, dog position a few times here. Moving at your own pace, exploring your spine. And then come back to center. Feel free to lift up the wrists make any adjustments that you need. And now let's move from side to side, sort of wagging our tail. So wag your tail over to one side and look back and then come to center and then move your hips towards the other side, look back and back to center. So you feel this a little bit more on the side of the body, moving from side to side at your own pace. And then come back to center and then just do a little freestyle movement. So you don't have to just go uh, forward and back or side to side. Maybe move those things together, blend the movement, making any kind of stretch that feels good. Exploring maybe even some shoulder movement. Be creative. And then sit back on your seat for a moment. You can give a little shake out for the wrist, for the arms. Feel free to tuck your shirt in if you want. And then let's come back to hands and knees and bring your hands just a little bit forward. Start to send your hips back towards your seat, almost like child's pose, and then start to come forward, pressing your hands into the floor, bringing your hips a little bit more forward. 
and then send the hips back and move the hips forward. Making sure to be aware of your low back, any pinching. You can try to keep it out of the low back by seeing if you can keep the hips kind of neutral. So just sort of moving the hips and the torso in one line, just getting this forward and back kind of movement. And now feel free if you like, if that felt really good to you, then stay there and keep doing that. But another thing we can try is to step one foot back, the other leg back, coming into a plank. Now know at any time you can always come back to knees on the floor or maybe just one knee. Press the, the hands into the floor, press the floor away. And now, can you lift your hips a little bit, coming into a little bit more of a downward dog? Feel free to bend your knees and alternate bending those knees. And get a little bit of movement through the body here. This can also be done with keeping your hands on um, a chair or on a table and so that you just press your hips back and then bring them forward. Then move forward into plank, remembering that you can bring the knees down, coming down into this position, and you can always send the hips back into more of a child's position instead of downward dog. This is just some variations. So now, like we were doing on our knees, can you flow gently back and forth from plank, sending the hips up and back into a downward dog. Again, those knees can be bent, the heels can be off the floor, coming back into plank. Trying a few of these, moving at your own pace. Taking a break if you'd like. And I'll do one more. Coming back into a either the child's pose or into downward dog. And then if you are in child's pose, come up onto hands and knees and start to walk the feet and the hands together. And if you're in downward dog, start to walk the hands and the feet together. Coming into more of a rag doll, bringing your feet, maybe about hip or pelvis width apart. Having a little bend in your knees, holding on to the opposite elbows. And then a little shake, let your upper body, you can let it be supported by your thighs. Let your upper body just dangle. Checking in with your neck, give a little nod, yes, a shake, no, move it around a little bit. Check in with the jaw and the face, soften. Soften with every exhale. And then releasing your hands, bending your knees, bringing your hands to your thighs, and then slowly coming all the way up. Slowly keeping your chin to your chest so you come all the way up, kind of letting the blood pressure adjust. And once you come up to standing, make any adjustments you might need, give a little shake out. And come to stand. Find a standing position that feels steady for you. And let your arms be by your sides. Let's do a shoulder roll here. Up, back and down. A couple of these. And then a little shoulder shake. Let things settle. 
You can let your eyes close or take a gentle gaze downward. Soften through the face and jaw. And open your eyes and move to the back of your mat so that you have space in front of you. And let's take a large step forward with your right foot, stepping into a warrior one, a crescent lunge. The way I have been doing this is I keep my toes curled under a little bit so I'm on the ball of let's see the the left foot and so I've got a little bit of a bend in the knee the heel is up off the floor this feels better for me sometimes you might have the foot on the floor or maybe you step a little bit further in so that all the toes are pointed forward but your heel is still on the floor Play with your lunge stance here. Keeping in mind it's easier to stay balanced with the feet a little bit wider apart rather than very close together. And on your next inhale, bring your arms up and out to the side. Bring them overhead and exhale down. And again, like we did at the beginning, bring the arms forward, bring them up, inhale, and exhale, turn the palms down, bring the arms down. Do a couple more of these. Again, using, if it doesn't feel great to go out to the side and you like going up and, you know, in the front all the time, or if you like going out to the side all the time, do that. So deep breaths in and out. One more cycle of two, whichever you're doing. Now, on your next inhale, bring your arms out in front of you and then start to take the left, or excuse me, yeah, the left arm behind you and pivot so that now your body is facing the long edge of your mat and you're angling your arms at shoulder height coming into the warrior two your right leg is bent your hips are not going to be squared there's going to be a little bit of a difference here and then from here, your arms are out wide. Well, let's try something a little bit different. Let's bring the arms in, turn the palms up, bring the hands closer in towards the armpits, and then move the hands out and then open out. And then bring them in, out, and around. So we've got some stillness in our lower body, some strength. And then we're adding some movement here. Can you reach out, feeling the shoulder blades widen behind you? And then opening out, and then the shoulder blades draw in as you come with the hands closer in. And then again, reach out. And then one more time. And let the arms drop down and give that let that um, right leg straighten maybe even just give a little movement of the knee and then let your left knee bend once more right knee that same knee <laughs> and taking your right forearm come down rest the right forearm somewhere on the right thigh you could also lean 
the hand with a little bit of a bend, whatever feels good here. So coming down and then pressing whatever is on the thigh in. So you lift up, finding a little puff of air in the shoulder and then lift your left arm up, pointing the fingertips up towards the ceiling perhaps. Or if you'd like to try a little movement here, try a little arm circle or a big arm circle as it would, as it were. Reaching. Trying both directions. And the next time the arm comes up, imagine there's a hook in the sky that you're going to grab onto. It's going to pull you up, letting that right leg straighten. Turn your toes so that all toes are, are facing the long end of your mat. Give a little side to side shake of your hips. Take a nice deep breath. Let it out. And then turn your toes out to the sides. Squat down, bending your knees, come up, do one more squat. And then you can pick whichever side you wanna to spring to. You can spring to the right, you can spring to the left. Coming together and giving a little shake for your legs. And then come back to standing, come to stillness. And once again, close your eyes and notice. All right, let's step to the back of the mat again. I'm gonna to step to the other side just so I stay facing you. So again, come to standing, bring your arms to, or your hands to your hips and take a big step forward with your left foot this time. Finding your lunge, pressing the feet into the floor, really finding some strength as if they're just rooted into the mat. Find your balance, find your strength. And once again, inhale, arms up, exhale down. Inhale, maybe arms come to the front, up as far as feels comfortable and exhale, arms down. You're also welcome to find your own arm dealio, even if that's just keeping the arms by your sides. On your next exhale, let the hands come down. Then inhale, let the arms come forward to about shoulder height and then the Right arm opens up as you pivot slightly to the side and adjust yourself so that you're in a side lunge towards with your uh, left toes pointing towards the front of your mat. You're probably gonna angle this right foot so that you've got a little bit of steadiness. I have my toes turned a little bit inward. And bring your arms down by your sides for a moment. Just give a little shake out. The front knee is bent. And inhale, open the arms out. And then exhale, see if you can bring one arm across your chest. You're just trying some different arms with your warrior two position. Take a breath here. Maybe what happens if you turn your head from side to side? This might mess with your balance a little bit, so you may not want to do that. <laughs> Inhale, open the arms out wide, and exhale, bring the other arm across. Inhale, open the arms out wide, and then 
exhale, let the arms come down. Go ahead and straighten that front leg for a moment. If you like, you can do a little bit of bending, maybe a little shaking, something that might feel good. You might know what feels good here or what doesn't. <laughs> so now let your knee bend once more. Bring your left forearm or your left hand. Come down to let that make contact with the top of the thigh, pressing whatever is making contact in. So you lift up, find a little puff of air, a little space here, and then lift your other arm up, fingertips reaching towards the ceiling. And again, if it feels good, different sides might be different, need different things. But if you'd like to go ahead and make that big arm circle, reaching, explore that. Moving in both directions, or maybe just making a big pendulum like movement. And whenever your arm comes back up, fingertips reaching up towards the ceiling, imagine that hook in the sky that you're going to grab onto, allow it to pull you up, letting your legs straighten. Allow both toes to face towards the side of the mat. Let the toes open out to the side a little bit, maybe adjusting the feet a little bit closer in. Give a little hip shake. Imagine that you've got that a little string on either hip. And then pressing your butt back just a little bit, start to bend your knees. So your torso is gonna come forward a little bit. You're gonna hinge at the hips a bit. And then bending your knees as much as you need or as much as you like, bring your hands down to the floor. And you may readjust the feet to feel better with your knees and start to move a little bit from side to side. You can also do this if you have a chair, you can put your hands or your forearms or what have you on the seat of the chair or any thing. <laughs> now, keeping your knees bent as much as you like, let your head tilt down towards the floor, pressing your feet into the floor and lifting your hips up towards the ceiling. Again, your knees as bent as you like. Take a few breaths here. Can you release the head and neck, the face and jaw? Does it feel like it might be nice to move your arms out in front of you or maybe through your legs or keep them right where they are? Now, wherever you're at, start to bend your knees, let your hands come back more under your face and start to probably walk your feet back behind you. I'm going to come around so I'm facing the side again. Bringing the feet back behind you. You can bring your knees, walk around and look, we're back in tabletop position. Bring your one leg out behind you, the other leg out. Finding yourself in plank, pressing the floor away, widening between the shoulder blades. Maybe lifting the hips for a downward dog. And then flowing from plank into downward dog a few times. Or again, bring the knees down, flow with the hips forward, sinking the seat back towards the heels. Any way is okay. Now, 
Next time you come into a plank-ish position, wherever it happens to be, go ahead and bring your knees down and then start to gently lower yourself down to the floor. When you're down, reach your arms out in front of you. And again, like we did on the back, stretch in opposite directions. Wriggle from side to side, finding some length on this side. Perhaps tucking your chin just a little bit so you have a little bit more length through the back of the neck. And then inhale, exhale, bring your hands in. Make a little pillow with your hands that you could rest your chin or the side of your face or your forehead. And take a few moments here to feel the breath from this position. And then start to move your hands. So there are palms down, the fingertips are pressing or facing forward. Move them underneath your shoulders. Your elbows are in by your sides. Your chin rests gently on the mat. And then on your next inhale, extend your right arm forward and your left leg behind you. This is, imagine again, as if you're just reaching it away or someone is gently pulling just on almost the same level as the ground. So the height doesn't have to be as important. Okay, so you've inhaled, you've reached, exhale, pull it back in, let the uh, leg come down, hand comes back in under the shoulder. And then inhale, left arm, right leg. And then exhale, back in. And then move from side to side. And if creating a little bit more height might feel good, you could try that. But height is not really what we're going for here. We're going for length, for strengthening in the back, getting a little cross body, or not cross body, but um, contralateral movement. It's good for the brain. Sinking the movement with the breath. Checking in with the neck, maybe tucking that chin a little bit more. One more either side. And then come back in for a moment. Rest your chin. Make sure the hands are under the shoulders, elbows are in, fingertips face forward. And on your next inhale, extend both arms and both legs. Exhale, come back to center. Inhale, extend. Exhale to center. Do a few more on your own. Next time you inhale and extend, hold. You could keep breathing here. Hold, hold, reach, reach, reach in opposite directions. And then exhale, gently release down, bring the elbows in by your sides, and then let yourself come back to your hand pillow, resting, resetting. For a little, low back support, you might bend your knees and let your lower legs windshield wiper a little bit from side to side. And alternatively, you could 
let your feet trace a circle as if they were tracing the edges of a clock going clockwise and then counterclockwise. And then let your lower legs come to rest. And again, breathe deeply. Now, begin to raise up, bringing those hands beneath your shoulders or maybe by your chest. And then start to press yourself up back to a table position. And coming into that table position, once again, move the hands out a little bit more in front. And once again, bring the, the hips forward and send the hips back. Hips forward, hips back. If you'd like to pause here in the child's pose, you can do that. Take a breath, exhale, and then come back onto all fours and start to turn yourself onto your behind, turning yourself around in preparation for coming down to the ground. And Let's just pause here with our knees bent, sitting up, holding on to the knees and allow your spine to round back behind you and then lifting up. So you might have your hands on top of the knees and then round so that your arms straighten a little bit and then arms bend as you come up. If it feels good, you, you might open the feet out a little bit wider. Adjusting this to your comfort level. And then next time you come up, let the arms relax by your sides for a moment. And then knees are bent lift the toes off the floor so that your heels are still on the floor and start to straighten your arms and start to lean back. Leaning back, starting to lower and lower and lower, almost maybe one vertebrae at a time until you're all the way down. Bring those arms over your head Reach, reach, reach. Inhale and exhale. Bring your arms back down by your sides. And actually bring the arms back up to a cactus position or goal post. Bring your, bend your knees so that the soles of the feet are on the floor. And just pause here. Breathing deeply. Lift your arms, raising your fingertips up towards the ceiling and bend your elbows. Take a hold of the opposite elbows with your hands. And then inhale and exhale. Allow your right hand to pull the left arm across. So you're just pulling your left arm across your body and let your lower body, your knees go over towards the left. So you see you're twisting, you're getting a little bit of an upper body stretch. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, go the opposite direction. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist and move from side to side a couple of times here.
the head can move with the arms, if that feels comfortable. And then come to center and then release the elbows, reaching up towards the ceiling. And then this time, as your knees go over to the left, just let the arms go over. Uh, they're free, they're not holding on to anything. Just twisting here, a little bit more of a twist this time. Inhale, come back to center, exhale to the other side. Kind of a, a relaxed, draping kind of a twist here. Let this feel good, feel soothing. Moving from side to side, maybe pausing on this side, taking a breath or two. Then coming back to center and then moving over to the second side and pausing for a breath or two. Inhale, come back to center. Making any last final movements, whatever you need to do before we stretch out into our final relaxation pose. So just make any kind of movement. It doesn't have to be anything official. Maybe you're just already moving into whatever form of Shavasana might feel good. Taking a couple more breaths. And then finding a comfortable way to be for a few moments. That could be with the legs outstretched and the arms out by the sides, the palms up. Or maybe the knees are bent. You can take the feet out a little bit wider and let the knees kind of tilt in and support each other. That might feel great. Perhaps you'd like to sit up or to roll over to your favorite side. Find a position that feels good. Begin to take several big full breaths in and out. Feeling yourself soften and relax a little bit more with every exhale. Feeling your face and jaw relax. You might even open your mouth, move your jaw around a little bit, and then let it come to rest and bring the, let the teeth be slightly apart and the lips gently touch. Feeling the softness all through the face and jaw and letting that feeling of relaxation move through the rest of the head, the scalp, into the neck front, sides, and back. Feeling your head and neck calm and relax. Let this feeling move into your shoulders. Shoulders now. Calm, soft, and relaxed. And down into your arms. Upper arms, elbows, forearms, wrists, hands, and fingers. Shoulders, arms, and hands calm and relaxed.
feeling your chest, shoulders, and upper back. Bringing that feeling of relaxation through there into your mid back and abdomen. And into the lower back, hips, and pelvis. Feeling the whole torso calm, soft, and relaxed. Now the feeling of relaxation is in the hips, moving down into thighs, front and back the knees, the lower legs, the ankles, feet, and toes. Feeling your entire lower body calm, soft, and relaxed. Feeling a sense of relaxation through your entire body. Now slowly begin to deepen your breath, deepening your awareness. Start to wiggle your fingers and toes, coming back into the room and slowly begin to move and stretch a little bit. Eventually, finding yourself rolling gently onto your favorite side and pausing for a moment and then keeping your eyes closed slowly press yourself up into a seated position settling yourself like we did at the beginning, bring one hand to the center of your chest, to your heart space. You might even bring both hands if that feels good. And just give a little rub, a gentle, a gentle rub, acknowledging yourself, sending yourself some love, sending yourself some appreciation. Maybe letting a hand just settle calmly over the center of your chest, one hand or both hands. And together, let's take a big full breath in and release it out. Big full breath in and out. And one more time. Mm -hmm. 
May we be free of suffering. May we have physical happiness. May we have mental happiness. May our hearts be at peace. And let your hand come down. Keep your eyes closed and just take a moment to just sit here with that loving kindness meditation fresh in our heads. Let it resonate in ourselves and let it get beamed out to those close to us, those we don't even know, everyone. You can stay here as long as you like, or you can let your eyes open. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I hope to see you again next time.